Speaking of, let's stick with that theme. Toronto is seeing a big surge in electronic waste. How's this for an eco-friendly green solution? TVs, computers, smartphones, millions of vapes have all become COVID castaways. Well, there's a company in Toronto making a pretty penny off green solutions. John Oberic is head honcho at Sparta Group. He joins us this morning. Good morning, John. How are you? Good morning, Dina. Very well, thank you. Listen, I love what you're doing. Let's get right into it. So how does your model work? Okay. Well, the, the electronics, the interesting thing about electronics, you don't really think about it, but every, every bit of electronics, the moment it's produced, uh, it becomes stale dated. So we have an ongoing flow of electronics coming through, the, through our society now. It's a huge uh, issue and it has to, has to be dealt with. So our uh, uh, pro process is we try to get everything we possibly can. We process between uh, 30,000 and 100,000 pounds a day of, of waste that's coming through here, but with zero landfill. We don't, we don't get, put anything to landfill. We don't break things up, send them to other countries. We actually go and extract everything out of it. So what I was uh, uh, about to show you today is, he, here's an example. This is at the very low end where we try to get to and try to get as much as we can out of it. Good for so, you. You meticulously example, break it this, down. Uh, before you get to that, can I we, ask why is there a surge in the e-waste right now? Is it because offices are empty and they're like, let's throw correct. everything out and update our systems? Correct. This okay. is a perfect time for them to be able to do that. So we are we are seeing an awful lot of that coming through right now. Okay. So t talk to us about how you break that down. I love that there's zero waste and so zero toxic that, pollution in it. That's that is that is really our focus. Uh, to, is is for that. This this is a, a standard circuit card you'd find in something like a server. Um, so I just grabbed this out of the bin. We've got many bins here of, of different things that we, that we separate out. Then from that, we're trying to find other pieces. So inside here would be memory. This is a, these are processors uh, that would be fitting onto these, this area here. Those processors we will take apart. We've got a full-scale industrial lab here that we take apart. They turn into, this is an example of a processor. There's some palladium. There's, there's uh, here's palladium as well. On the back, there's pins, there's gold. And then we even try to extract that. And then that we can get out and we can pull that into things like we have, you know, there's gold nuggets that, we've, that we'll pull out of this, this system. Wow. So now I know you use something taking... called pyrolysis. So it's 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 breaking things down that can't be used like that with a very low heat. Well, that's... Right. No. So pyrolysis is we're taking plastic, not not uh, okay. not metals. Metals we separate. Then we take plastics. And plastics we're in a pilot project right now. And the way pyrolysis works is that it is you that you burn it in the absence of oxygen. So there's nothing being emitted, and then it breaks it down in, and sublimates it from. Uh, from a solid right to a gas, and then the gas we condense it, which then turns it into either liquid or into a gaseous form, and then we turn that into either liquid fuel or into electricity that we turn into into um, uh, that can be turned into. One of the things we're working on is to turn it into actual food crops, so that we can point out that we've got, that we've turned plastic right into food, you know, unsortable waste plastic into food. That's another program we're working on. Okay, you all deserve some sort of uh, Nobel Peace Prize something. This is revolutionary. It is so innovative. Why aren't more companies doing this? Is, is it more costly? Is it more time consuming? Well, it, it is costly to do so. I, I can't say that we're the only ones doing it. There are people who, who are in this world. There's a lot of good people out here trying to work, to, uh, help and work towards the environment. And we're just one of them. You really are using science and technology for good here. The fact that it is zero percent waste you're not shipping anything off to any other countries and so how is it that you're able to make uh plastic into gasoline and diesel is is that that low heat method it's 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 low heat it's what i was explaining so we're, where we're sublimating so mm. we're, so we're taking it down and it converts it it's much like um actually how all oil is produced or how uh, fuels are produced um it's like making whiskey um uh, out of a mash we're making it out of plastic and turning it into fuel so if people want to get but a hold of what, you what are Yes, go ahead. I, I'll say essentially um, it, what, it's, uh, what it's all about under, in, inside our, our group, the Sparta group in, in general. So we have all the different divisions. We take everything and take a look at it right down to the molecular level because that's all we are. We are just, we are just molecules. Us, the land, the trees, everything is, just starts down from a carbon-based society. We take a look at it and then try to rebuild it. Where do we get more information? So, this is very exciting, yes. Sure. Um, the, the website is uh, Sparta Group. Dot CA. I can't help but think of the movie. Group. Are you a fan of the movie? <laughs> I am Spartacus. No. Oh yeah, that's true. That's is true. it no, I am Sparta? We, Sp Spartacus. Spartan. Is, you know what? Sometimes it takes Spartan. me three tries. <laughs> okay. Thank
thank you so much. I love what you're doing. Thank, thank this you. is the way of the future. Appreciate the, appreciate the uh, uh, that you're checking into us and seeing how we're doing things. Love to all of you, okay? You're doing great work. Thank you so much. Now over to Mal, also doing great work, keeping her eye on all the headlines for you this morning. You got it, D. Thank you so much. Time now, 726. Coming up next, lawsuits related to the fatal Humboldt Broncos bus crash continue to make their way through our courts. Coming up, the decision that the grieving families are waiting for.